All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of those double exposure uh, photos, not photos, but rather uh, compositing it together in Photoshop. And if you don't know how to get here under Discover, you just press this little uh, spyglass, and then from here, you're going to go down to Hands on Tutorials and uh, it's under Creative Ones. You have to hit View All. <laughs> and here it is Make a Double Exposure. So this is built into Photoshop, which is great. And we're going to start that tutorial. Uh, the only problem with this is um, sometimes, like, these kind of get in the way a little bit. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the tutorial instead. Um, these are Adobe images that are included inside. Um, so if you want to use them, you have to buy them, but I'm just doing a tutorial here. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore this now and just kind of walk you through all of it instead of following this. Um, maybe, here we go, just a second. So I'm going to start with what it says. I have to have your layers panel open. And so you could always uncheck it and check it again just to make sure that thing goes away. I do have mine open right here. All right, so I am going to just lower this down here. Okay, so what we have here is a picture of a man. And if we turn this eyeball on, we can see a picture of the beach, okay? And we're gonna take that beach layer and after we turn it on, we're gonna switch to, you could go through these and see which one you like. Uh, screen is a very popular one to use, like I just mentioned in the last video, and I'm going to use that. All right, so what we can do then is right now it's kind of strong, so we can lower the opacity down some. You can decide on how much you want. I'm going to go around 85%, like the tutorial suggests doing. Um, and then um, I'm going to move using this move tool right here, free transform, and move it around where you want. Of course, you don't want to do it on like the edge of the image, but you want to go to an area like right there. I feel like it's not covering his eye as much. And I could go with that. So if I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit enter. Um, actually, you don't have to enter, not, enter because I didn't resize it. And you could resize a little bit. We just want to make sure it's actually covering uh, his entire profile here. So let's go with that. And now I'm going to mask it as well. So if I'm on the beach layer here, and I'm going to click uh, the mask, which is right here. And this creates this mask layer that's white. Now it's showing everything, but anything I turn to black will uh, cover it up. So I'm gonna go over here to grab a brush and it's at 100% right now, which I want. Um, and I can go through here and you can see it removes it. It's kind of hard to see. Um, my brush is at 100%. Um, but that's kind of a hard line. So we wanna make sure we have a fuzzy brush or a hardness is at zero. You can use the little brackets that are underneath the plus and minus sign on your keyboard, or you can go up there to change the size. Uh, but I'm gonna make it pretty large. I'm gonna go around and just basically remove anything that isn't on him or his shirt. So I'm just kind of going in these areas here. Definitely don't want to see the edge of the photo. All right, so that looks pretty good here. And then I can think it's like, well, you know, I, I, you don't have to go completely black or white with this. And let me just show you too, you can make a mistake like, oh, I went onto his hood too much here. I just flip these around to white and I can bring that back so it does appear on his hood there. Um, but I can also go gray. So maybe I'm going to take the opacity and bring it down to like 30%. And I'm going to go back to black. And what I can do is go, go over areas like his eye, for example. Like I really don't want it to cover his eye as much. Some of these features here. I think a lot of details pulled out of his ear. So maybe I'll bring that back a little bit. And even maybe around his mouth, something like that. Okay. Definitely around his eye a little more though. All right. There we go. I think that looks pretty good right there. Yes, there we have it. So it's all done now. You could uh, select an area if you would like, uh, maybe to crop it down, which you can just highlight an area using your marquee selection tool here, and um, then just go up to edit crop. So something like that looks pretty good. Image, crop, there's my final image. I'm happy with that. And then I can save it as JPEG or save it as PSD to work on more later. There you go.